Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do another DIY video. You guys have been loving the video so I'm just, I want to give you more so here I am giving you more. <laughs> if you're thinking that I'm gonna make the DIYs, I'm not. I'm just gonna be showing you a couple of ideas that I think are just really fun to do. If you do want to see me make them, I will link the videos down below because I've done that before. And let's get started with the DIYs. My baby Yoda and Llama in the back, <laughs> just chilling. By the way, I will link everything down below so you can check it out as well. But hear me out. If you know me, you know that I love the clay DIYs. I just love them so incredibly much. So I actually have a ton of clay DIYs in this video because I found this particular account and they have so many good DIYs. So I actually included a lot of hers. Oh my God, this first one is genius. I love it. I love Polaroids and everything, but this, I wouldn't have never thought of it. This is just so fun. So adorable. This next one, I'm not sure if I have used it before, if I've showed you it in one of the videos because I remember seeing it, but I don't think I used it. So I'm gonna show it to you now. And in case it's a double, I'm sorry. It looks really fun and I just wanted to include it because it looks really good. It's also not too complicated and you don't need a lot of stuff. Just make sure that you can put stuff in the ceiling before you make this because sometimes you can't. Be careful with that. This next one, kind of simple, but actually pretty smart. They basically just make their own lip balm and it's so simple. It's just with Vaseline and lip gloss and it has a nice color to it which I really like I think I want to do this myself as well because it's so smart plus Vaseline is really nice for your lips and it looks really good she shows what it looks like in the end oh this next one I really really like she basically uses the plastic caps from the Pringles bottles but you could just use regular plastic from something else maybe you have a cute color I think that would look good as well but she just uses a tons of stickers and she just puts it on it and then she cuts it out makes a hole in it and makes a keychain out of it and I think it just looked so fun and just so incredibly easy like probably everyone has some sort of plastic in their house stickers are really cheap as well so you can just get those in a local store it's just so simple but it looks really good and you know you made your own keychain so that was really fun this would also be kind of a good idea to sell if you could somehow secure the stickers really well it would be a good idea to sell if you can make them really aesthetically pleasing people will buy anything seriously <laughs> here we have another clay DIY this one is so incredibly easy like I have not seen a clay DIY being this easy like oh my god it's so simple and just so fast you have to let it dry for a while but still you just put it over something and it dries and you have what is it a bowl and it's so simple you just paint it I just love this so much because it is so incredibly simple in this video they decorate their school planner and it's a pretty long video but it turns out really well and I think this is again so simple and you can do this with a lot of stuff that you already have at home you just have to have a piece of paper maybe some pens and stickers but it's just incredibly simple and easy and you just don't need to spend a lot of money on it you might not even have to you might already have everything that you need that's what I love about DIYs you can just make it for just a few euros and you're done and that is I love that about it <laughs> this next one I have never seen before it's not that much of a DIY because she just spray paints the glass I do like this idea in general I've never seen anything like this because she makes floating candles but I've never seen floating candles before like you just don't really think to put candles in water the water puts out the fire but I do like it I like the look of it and it just looks really fun I do have actually a lot of room to order DIY now that I think of it this one is also kind of a decor item again you can do this with many different things she like makes holes in the design of the can she outlines it if that that makes any sense and then she like just puts lights in it and it lights up you can do this with so many different cans you can even like decorate the can first and then put the holes in it kind of make your own design that would also be really fun this next one oh my god i'm sorry my cat is eating but i love this one so incredibly much i was like just watching so focused like what is she gonna do and it turns out so so incredibly amazing i am obsessed with this one i just think it's so adorable this person is really good at what she does like her designs with clay are just oh my god i am so obsessed this looks so good this video is incredibly slow and oh my god it takes way too long but it does turn out really cute and i just wanted to share it with you I'm sure I've had multiple DIYs like this, but it's always good to have new DIYs that are just kind of similar, but they're different and they're new ideas, you know, so I wanted to include it and I just really liked it. It's again, so incredibly simple. It's also recycling. Here we have Clay again from the same account from 
Hello Claire. She makes a candle. She used a different candle making set, but making your own candles is really easy. I believe if you have just like long candles, for example, you can just melt them, put them in something else, and you basically just have a candle again. You do need one of those strings that like lights up but i like the design and the idea and making your own candles is always really fun now this one i don't know exactly what you would use it for i don't even know what's written on it because it's a different language but i do like it however she makes it really well and you can again make this in so many ways i say this in every video but that's what i love about diys as well that you can go so many ways with this and you can give your own touch to it i just really like this it looks like she uses something that she painted herself but i'm not sure she might have just printed it out you can just print out stuff or use stickers or whatever or you can maybe even draw on it if you're really good in drawing which is also really fun i don't know what it says so i don't know exactly what she's using it for it could be a gift it could just be some fun decoration it could even be in like an invitation or something <gasps> that would be so fun this next one is for the people who don't really want to spend money on home decor and just want to make it themselves just make it really cheap she just makes paper vines and it's just so incredibly simple but really cheap you just need some green paper or white paper color it green you will literally have spent no money if you have paper and pens but most people do a lot of these are home decor this is just a diy home decor video this is another clay diy but from a different account this one looks so good and it's so satisfying how she makes it because it's so smooth and she does it so well and i'm like i want to be able to make clay stuff this well because not good at it. I'm really not that good at it. And it's so satisfying to watch. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this next one is kind of like a bookmark, but you can use it for multiple things because she just uses paper clips. But she uses it as a bookmark. And I think it's really smart because she also shows that uh, it can mark your spot, like where you left off, and I thought that was so smart. Plus a normal bookmark could just like fly out of your book, which has happened to me before. Then you've lost your spot in the book, but with this, it just stays on, which is really nice. Okay, this next one is like totally random, but I just liked the idea, and I thought it looked fun. It is also kind of home decor, but you can use it for different things. You could use it as like a little storage thing. Maybe you could put like hooks in it, and you can use it as like a necklace storage slash holder i don't know but that would be funny wouldn't it and the next one is again from hello claire and this one i also really like it's not that difficult this one i think it's rather simple and it looks really good oh my god wait i still need a candle holder i could totally make this this next one is kind of more just for fun and if you really like drawing or painting then this one is great for you if you're just bored then this is really fun to make oh my god she's making Making so much noise. Could you be quiet just for a minute? Are you done? Yay! It's rather simple. It's just fun to kill time with this. You know, instead of watching YouTube videos, instead of watching TikTok videos, instead of watching the watch videos. I'm sorry. It's fun. Yes. This next one is a compilation of different things you can make. So first off, phone charms. You can use it for other things in your phone as well but it's cute. Play rings are also fun. I've showed those in my video before as well. Play jewelry holder, of course. I show many, many clay things in my videos. Mirror art is also fun, like the bobbly thing or just painting a mirror is also really nice to do. Bandy candles. I did that in a video. It wasn't that great, but it was fun to do. This next one is also kind of simple, but it's still fun. It is always fun to make your own phone case, kind of, or just to add something to your plain, boring phone case. I've seen a lot of different ways of like painting an Uno card. She actually makes it herself, whatever you like to do. I think it looks fun. Eh? You can put it behind your phone case. I personally would just place it in the middle, but I like this idea. And we're gonna end with another one of Hello Claire's DIYs. It is a hard mug, and I, oh my god. It looks so good. Safety disclaimer, do not just make a mug out of air dry clay and just pour water into it because it's not gonna last. If you seriously wanna make mugs that you can drink out of, you should watch a different video where they actually explain it how to make drinkable mugs. But it does look really good. And you could also just use this as decor or like a pencil holder, whatever. Those were all of the videos again. I hope you liked it. I feel like it was very short, but that might just be me. But I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to become a part of the family. And I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>